the second piece, it's the Nathaniel Tokov, as uh, Paul introduced you already. And today I want to sing a different melody, which I take some of the melodies, a couple of minutes of the melodies, and I integrate it to my Nusach in the Shul because I cannot ignore this tune. And I cannot ignore this tune, I really mean it. I, can, I cannot pass the Yom Kippur and the Rosh Hashanah without to sing even a fraction of, of this tune. Even that I used to different Nusach and I grew up in the traditional Nusach and that's a different melody that's not the traditional melody. This melody has a story. 73, Mechemet Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur War. We know about, we heard about the, the history of Yom Kippur world. We heard the, how the leaders of Israel were afraid of, as Golda Meir said in those days in, in, uh, to her cabinet, the third, of the, the, the third destruction temple. She was afraid of the third destruction temple. That's how severe the situation was. After the two weeks of wars, three weeks of wars, the Israeli society woke up to, to a very bad, um, very bad situation, which more than 2,000 young people pay their lives there and uh, got killed in the, in the war and many others wounded. It's an unhealing wound in the Israeli society when you talk about young people. Excuse me, I have a big family in Beit Hashita and I knew one of the boys who was killed. Okay, so that's the family. So Kibbutz Betzer Shita, we're going a little bit, uh, a little bit close to some individual groups in Israel. Kibbutz Betzer Shita, it's one of the kibbutzim of the Shomer Atzair. When you talk about Shomer Atzair, you talk about secular society, even a little bit anti-religious uh, uh, society. And one of the members of the kibbutz was Yair Rosenbaum. Yair Rosenbaum was a famous uh, composer in Israel composed a lot of melodies, a classic Israeli composer, a national composer. And in Mechavet Yom Kippur, in Mechavet Yom Kippur, the kibbutz lost 11, 11 members, 11 young soldiers. And for a kibbutz to lose 11 young men means that 40% of the families in the kibbutz got affected by, by this loss. A year after that, they prayed the first time. They had a minion the first time. And, and he composed, the Ayrosan composed the famous melody on the Tani Tokev Kedushat Hayom. And you hear, and then they, they pray the first time, Mi Bamai, who is going to die? Who is going to, Mi Bekitzo, who is his time? Who is before is his time? Mi Bacherem, Mi Baraab, Mi Batsama, Mi Baesh, who is going to die in the fire? And those words had a lot of meaning to, to this group. And since that, ever that, when, when ever when there is a, a, a a terrorist attack in Israel or, or war, you hear this melody again and again and again. It's a part of the DNA of the of the Israeli society. I remember one one of my concerts. I performed this melody, and uh, and my coach that was involved in the performance told me something that I should hear the soldiers marching to the wall or the tanks rolling in the desert, and that's how the melody sounds. Sofer, <laughs> 
Oh, it's a love. 